This weekend starts Albuquerque um, Gay Pride Weekend. Um, you know, it, 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 it's big for the city. And, um, you know, it, it's a time to kind of celebrate some diversity and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we thought a really good way to do this was to bring in Amanda Sutton from Bookworks, which is one of our finest, you know, local bookstores down in the North Valley. Welcome, and they've got Amanda. some stuff going Thank you. on. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Larry. Of course, the book works legendary in the community. It really Absolutely. is. Did you know it was legendary? I had a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next year we're celebrating our 30th anniversary. Fantastic. So that's that's really so I was awesome. just going to ask because you all, you all have been this great local bookstore for so long. In 30 years, that is an amazing accomplishment. Yes. Yeah. The bookstore was founded by Nancy Rutland back in the 80s and now is co-owned by a couple of her former employees, mm. um, Danielle Foster and Wyatt Weggerson. So we're really excited to still be part of the community and bringing some great events to Albuquerque. And part of the community yeah. is really what it's about. It's yeah. nice, yeah. And you all always have like great local uh, guests come in. You do um, book signings and Absolutely. yeah, you try to give this you know local feel and well it is local so <laughs> yeah. but more of a community feel is what I should say. Right. <laughs> Yes, we do a lot of events with local authors. We also bring in touring authors um, on the national scale. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the week, we're bringing in um, a man named Zach Walls, who is one of the better known advocates for same-sex marriage. Mm -hmm. He's from Iowa originally. He's 21 years old. He's got a new book out, uh, a memoir of being raised by two mothers called My Two Moms. Mm -hmm. So this event's happening Saturday after the parade at 3 p.m down at North Forest a, Art Center. They're showing the book right up there. Now, and so. I think I just recently saw this book on one of the national morning shows and mm -hmm. Zach Walls was on there. Um, so it, it's like made some huge, huge uh, headway. Absolutely. And I mean, it's a top book, right? Absolutely, yeah, the book's published by Penguin. Um, Zach spoke in front of the Iowa House of Representatives in 2011. Wow. This is his most famous speech. Um, the speech went viral on YouTube. He was speaking on behalf of advocates for same-sex marriage. Within two weeks of his speech, over a million and a half people had, had seen him speak wow. in front of the House. Um, he was also featured at the 2012 Democratic National Convention, speaking about the issue of uh, marriage equality. I remember equality. him. I, you know, it was a memorable moment um, mm -hmm. if you were watching the Democratic Convention. Right. So, yeah. So, so he'll be at your store? We're uh, actually hosting the event off-site. It's at okay. North Forth Art Center down in the North Valley on 4th Street. Where okay. is that, actually? I'm trying to... I think the address is 404 4th Street. Okay, so um, just a little bit further down off of Lomas. Okay. Um, um, it's actually way in the North Valley. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure of the exact address. I probably should All have right. that with me. But yeah, folks can look it up online. Um, the former VSA, now North 4th, right. down in the North Valley. It's all listed on your website, yes, on BookWorks absolutely. website. So. Obviously, Amanda, there's a book publishing revolution going on and everything's going electronic and and I know you guys discuss it in the store what what do you feel about the way books are evolving and the way people are consuming them well more people than ever are reading they're just reading in a different way yeah. um, bookworks like many other independent bookstores has partnered with a company called Kobo which mm. sells electronic books through independent bookstores. Okay. So we actually do have ebooks available through our website for people that choose to read that way. Yeah. We have a very loyal clientele, so yeah. we're not seeing a huge um, downfall in the number of print books that are being bought. Well, that's yeah. good to know. Yeah. Well, one thing, and I don't want to veer away from the events this week, but what we had pointed out earlier is you can order a book from them and you can have it within two or three days, which is True. the same thing you're doing online with Amazon, mm -hmm. but you're going downtown and, or down in Supporting the North Valley. the community. Yeah, right. which I think is huge, so. Well, I yes, too. something like 80 cents out of every dollar you spend, lo spend locally is kept within your community. Mm -hmm. So we really do try to emphasize that we can compete with the big, um, big box stores and with Amazon, getting things in just as, just as timely as they can. Nice. All right. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. That's actually good news. Right. And um, where do you see uh, the where do you see the role of Bookworks uh, in the next few years? Are you going to evolve this? Are you going to keep on this track of presenting things in the community and, and and staying involved and being very very local in your approach? Oh yes. 
Yes, we sell books for many organizations, for conferences, for lots of events that are booked by outside mm -hmm. companies or organizations. So really, if there is a bookseller in town, it's, it's us. Um, we also bring in a lot of, like I mentioned, nationally touring authors. We just had an event a couple of weeks ago with the author of The Kite Runner, Khaled Hosseini. Oh, okay. Um, so this is one way we feel we can really be Which active a lovely and, book. Yeah. and present a book. Yeah. in the community is, is bringing in these nationally touring authors for people in Albuquerque to see. And how do you keep people connected to know about all these events and the events going on this week? We list all of our events on our website, which is bkwrks.com. Mm -hmm. We also have an active presence on Facebook and on Twitter, so that's social media is a huge way that we get the word out about our events. I, mm -hmm. I, I find a lot of your stuff on the Facebook page. Right. Um, so it's it's doing it's doing its job, yeah, which is great. Fun. Keeping people up to date. Yeah. Um, what's going on on Tuesday night, which is tomorrow? That's the Willa Cather thing, right? Willa Cather is Wednesday evening. Wednesday, We're doing okay. an event with a woman named Janice Stout. She's co-editor of a new anthology called The Selected Letters of Willa Cather. Right. There's a photo of her up right now. Yes, I love that photo. She looks so glamorous there. Um, as you all now, might tell us who she, who, she, who Willa Cather is. Willa Cather is a pretty well-known Western women, uh, woman writer. She was born in Nebraska, but her most famous book, or one of her more famous books, is called Death Comes for the Archbishop, mm. which takes place in Santa Fe. It's it's really one of the iconic novels about New Mexico. Um, she was writing in the mid 1800s. Um, she had a long-time relationship with her editor, uh, a woman named Edith Lewis. They lived together for over 40 years oh, wow. until Willa's death in, I think, 1847. So the event on Tuesday night is with the editor of this new Wednesday. anthology. On Wednesday night. Yeah, I'm sorry oh, okay. I put that in your head. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. It's a free event down at Bookworks. I'll be down there. I'm excited about this. Good. Um, I was just at the Mabel Dodge Lujan house where Willa spent a lot of time. and. As I said, that stuff oozes out of the walls, and you know these literary greats were there. And, Fantastic. You know, Death Comes to the Archdiocese is a wonderful book, mm -hmm. and you know, and I think people that grew up here have read it, and don't realize who the author is sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, it'd be cool to see your stuff. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Well, obviously, Bookworks is uh, doing great stuff, <laughs> staying involved, and uh, staying current, and being involved in events. And, uh, I want you to keep us uh, abreast of what, what's going on next with I would you love guys, to. okay? Thank you.